2000, Channel 7, the one to watch. Will our Wheel of Fortune champion be Sandy Spearings? Adrian Austin or Don McKinnon? Let's find out as they play for this luxurious holiday in Vienna and the sensational Proton Satria GTI. It's the grand final of the Battle of the Champions on Australia's favourite game. Wheel of Fortune! And now, here's the host of the show, Rob Elliott. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm waiting. We're pumped, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready for this. Hello there, thank you very much for joining us on Wheel of Fortune. Have you been watching the last three days of the uh, Battle of the Chant? It's been very, very good, very exciting. We're going to find out who is the best of the best today as well. First of all, though, Sophie Faulkner, ladies and gentlemen. Looking lovely. Hi, Rob. How are you, Sophie? Oh, good. Looking forward to the game. Absolutely. And speaking of the games, the big one, do you know what day tomorrow is? Friday. Last day of the torch relay it's, at Town Hall Steps. Yep, today. And then the big opening ceremony tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We've waited years for this. Let the games begin. Yay. Alrighty. We're going to let this game begin too. This is the Battle of the Champs. This is what we're doing this afternoon. We're going to find out who is the best champion from Wheel of Fortune for the past four years anyway. The winner of Monday's show was Don McKinnon, everybody. As a remember, of course, Don, you were on the show back in October 1997, $40,998 prize winner. How are you feeling, mate? I feel pretty good, thanks, Rob. Do you have a strategy? Have you thought of something? I know you want to hit and shoulder Adrian, but... Uh, <laughs> that'd, that'd help. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, good. I just want as uh, many of those plenty silver of the, ones as I can get there. Plenty of the silver ones. Well, good luck this afternoon, Don. Thanks, Rob. Uh, will you please make welcome the king of the wheel yet again, Lord Adrian Austin, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, that's a beauty. You haven't let us down, Adrian. I know. You know, last, last night, Rob, you were thinking, you know, I was thinking, where are the colours? I was thinking, boring, but a beautiful suit, of course, Roger David. That's but, right. uh, but you thought a bit too corporate. Sure. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't let me down tonight. Right. People are going to start talking, Adrian. All right, good luck this afternoon. Let's find out uh, the winner from Tuesday's show and the third and final for the uh, Battle of the Champion final, Sandy Spearings, is here. Hi, Rob. September 1996 was a long time ago. It was a very long time ago. What's your strategy this afternoon, Sandy? How are you going to win? Well, I've got to get more than them. To, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know the rules. That's a good start. All right, let's go with the game, then I'm going to set the wheel up. $750 is the big money in the opening round. Here is the puzzle board. Let's have a look at this one. Phrase. Sandy, we're underway. Thursday's Wheel of Fortune, Battle of the Champions, has come down to this, the grand final. Nice prize to the winner of this, too, plus a chance of the major prize round again. One ten. T for terrific, please. Yeah. <laughs> Two T's. One hundred and twenty. S for Sandy. <laughs> yes. Could I have an O, please, Rob? Uh, any O's? Yeah, just the one. Three ten. H for Harry, please. Yes. Two H's. This is Sandy Spearings in control in round one. Be good to get a nice little uh, lead up first off. Get the rest to chase you. And look at this one. One hundred and thirty. V for victory, please. Yes. Yeah. Six hundred and twenty. They're all good players up here. Hey, the proton is coming around. Nope, not to be this time. 300. And for Nelly, please. Yes. Can I solve it, please, Rob? There's more opportunity. Remember, the one with the most money wins. There's only one bankrupt on the wheel, one loser turn. It's up to you, but the more money, the... <laughs> She'll be glad she did. Trust me. Game show host. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your support there, Sandy. 200. <laughs> I'll have an X for something. So, <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> X for xylophone. X for something. Yeah. There you go. All right, tell me what it is now. Uh, to have a sixth sense. Yes. That's what it is. Well done. 
because he was only it was an extra 200 bucks, but it could make a difference. Right. The end of the game. And the best thing about, of course, solving that puzzle is the money secure. Bankrupt will not take that $1,120 away. Unreal. Feeling a little bit more confident now? Much better. Good. All right, we're going to be back with round two right after this. We'll get Lord Adrian into the game. <laughs> First of all, though, here's a puzzler for you watching at home. See if you can work out uh, this one. It's a before and after. Two puzzles joined by that common word. Tell you what it is, right after the break, a Wheel of Fortune. Tonight, an exclusive glimpse of the opening ceremony before the secrets are revealed tomorrow. The new answer to Olympic bus problems and the torch heads into the centre of the city. Seven News, tonight at six. Constantine Pavetis is the first runner to... Lots of things have changed since I led the torch relay off in Cairns in 1956, but some things will never change, like the pride the torchbearers will feel on the road to Sydney. I'll be one again this time. I'm doing it exactly the same way I did half a lifetime ago. Much fun as 56, Con? Yeah, it's every bit. The Sydney 2000 Olympic Torch Relay, brought to you by one really proud Australian, AMP. Hey kids, join me down at KFC and get your very own Looney Tunes toy. Free with every chicken meal. That's terrific! With Bugs, Daffy, Sylvester and Tweety to collect, the fun will never stop. So for the secrets of fun, follow me to KFC. Tricky Putty's gone to bits, bug bits, shape of alien bits, or monster bits. Make hundreds of different characters, collect all the Tricky Putty bits. The fun never quits. Tricky Putty bits for moose. Before you sit down to hours of this, take a look at winning prices on these. Before sitting through weeks of this, race in for these. The Brescia Furniture Best Seats in the House Sale. Huge savings on all leather lounges with immediate delivery. But only if you're fast. Neat and sweet. Available at video and department stores. You'll get them every time. Only in your dreams could you walk with the mighty T-Rex. Until now. You're in charge with the infrared remote control. Feel the awesome power of the Dynatronic T-Rex. New from Irwin. Anything else is just a toy. <laughs> Within your world of bad days. Welcome back to the Battle of the Champions, the Grand Finale. Uh, this is to see who is the the greatest real champ in the past four years. Anyway, I'll tell you what. There's some red hot competition up here. Let's go with the uh, puzzle. The answer to that one, Johnny, was was this photo frame of mine. Mm. Now let's have a look at the. Um, but I we worked that one out. Thanks, mate. $1,500 is the big money. The bonus! Yeah, nothing cooks like the Master Touch Weber Kettle. It's easy to start, easy to clean, and features a heat thermometer. Built from durable steel and finished in porcelain enamel, it's guaranteed for five years from Weber. Now, Weber Barbie, very nice indeed. Cast your eyes on the wheel, everybody. Categories are clue, Adrian. Let's go. In control. First spin for the final. Oh, this should be okay. Oh, stop, stop, 310. Stop. Two for Tony Basil. Yes. <laughs> Two T's. <laughs> 430. H for Hazy Fantasy. Yes. Two H's. 740, do you want a vowel? Yes, I'd like to buy an E. Like an E's. <laughs> Two E's. $50 off. <laughs> Bonus is gone, these are good dollars. This will give you the lead, 660. W for wham. Yes. <laughs> That's a well pulled out letter, the W, Adrian. Incredible. Hey, the Proton, looky, here's a chance, here's a chance gone. 310. N for new water. Yes. One N. 
Can I buy an O, please? An O? Yeah. Two O's. This is a good puzzle, this one. $1,610. Don still hasn't gotten to the game yet. Waiting patiently. <laughs> 310. G for go goes. Yes. $1,920. Here we go. Might be onto this too, it's just relying on the lack of the wheel now, I think. 145. S for Smiths. Yeah. Smiths is a new one. $2,065, Adrian. Hello. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now, hello, how are you? Uh, Don is in control now. Thank you. <laughs> that was a bit of bad luck there, Adrian. Don't <laughs> lose, don't lose. I would have said shoot as well, I think. That's just terrible luck. $660. Right. Ill for Larry. Yes. That takes care of all the consonants and... Uh, oh, hello! Red mystery letter, Don, has put you right back into this. Tell me what yes. you see. The egg who sat on a wall. Yes, the egg who sat on a wall. Yeah, you need the bonus $200. Tell me who that egg was. Humpty Dumpty. Yes, yeah, bizarre, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> $1,320. Uh, $1,520. This is looking good. Adrian, $2,065 in the lead. Sandy is on $1,120. We have two puzzles to go. Don, you'll be in control for the next one. Tell us about the car, John. Well, leading the way in modern car manufacturing is the Satria GTI. With ride and handling by Lotus and safety of ABS brakes, you can be sure of a better ride, including a three-year, one million kilometre warranty. It's priced at $26,290 plus on-road costs. Proton, spirit of achievement. Alrighty, there it is. Somebody could win that today too, whoever is going to be the champion of the champions. Let's go with the next puzzle. Two to go. Don, you'll be in control for this and we want you to have a look at the board, see if you can work out this one. And the category for this is a title. Don, you are in control. And he's trailing by $545 at the moment. But this, uh, the money gets bigger. We're halfway through this. With the big money round still to come. 2.30. End for Nelly. No ends. Sandy, here's your chance. Quiet since round one. Two hundred and thirty. T for terrific, please. Yeah. One thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Coming into a horror area here, yeah, but this will be fine. Three seventy-five. S for Sandy, please. Yes. Can I have an O, please? You'd like an O. There, uh, yeah, there's just the one. I'll have an E as well. Any E's over there, Soph? You'd have a couple, wouldn't you? She has two for you. 50 bucks. Takes you back to $1,625. How close is this game becoming? This for the lead. An R for rabbit, please. Yes. Two R's, 2,285. Can I have an A, please? An A, there are three. $50 off of the bout, 2,235. The money's gone, but here's the bonus. I don't think we've given it away all week and we still haven't. 450? I'll have an M for Mary, please. Yes. $2,600 and... Uh, $85. Six sixty. I'll have um, an L for Larry, please. Yeah. Three thousand three hundred and forty-five dollars. Oh, this is going to be close, but not there. Three eighty-five. I'll have a. See? No. Of course you're on to that. Yeah. Adrian! I thought it was all over then, oh, no. but it's not over yet. 
Although, Adrian, your money's not secured. Oh! Keep going. He's got that project. Letter. F for fondue. Pull the proton off the wheel. You've still got time to win this, perhaps. You've got to solve the puzzle, of course. 180 goes into your kick, and you're halfway to winning the car. It's up to you. If you want to play for the game, you're still trailing more opportunity. Oh, going spin again. again. Spin again. All right. He's going. He's going to spin again. Oh, I can't watch. Ah, it's, it's all right. 660. W for Wham. Tell me what it is. A farewell to arms. It is a farewell to arms. Well done, mate. This could be in your garage if you do it in the final round. This is how we're looking at the moment. Don, 1,520. Uh, Adrian, 2,905. Sandy, 3,345. We have one round to go to find out who is the champion of the champion game. Right after this, folks, come back to see if uh, the boy can take off the car too. Here's a puzzle to take us to the break. Have a look at this one. We're looking for a, uh, a phrase. We'll tell you what it is right after this on Wheel of Fortune, Battle of the Champions. Sydney 2000 Olympic Games, and that is just the beginning. Live, all day, every day, for the experience of your life, only Channel 7. Westpac's helping us teach our children Olympic ideals, like teamwork and achievement. Westpac's Olympic Youth Program is giving us the tools we need to teach our children ideals that will help them throughout their lives. Think Olympic ideals will help our kids achieve in life? I might never be an Olympic athlete, but at least I can think like one. If you thought you knew everything there is to know about Pokemon, prepare to be shocked, Whoa! rocked, and shaken. Back to save the world by popular demand. Pokemon the Movie 2000. Get two critters, now catch them quick. Ingo is slime or a reptile pig. Now ask for a drink with a frog inside. Get some ice cream, make a mudslide. Pizza Hut Kids Works has frogs and snakes. Wiggle and jiggle and slither inside. Get your hands on an awesome Neotone Game Boy Color. What's your color? <laughs> Those grade four chimps are killing me. I had three in a cage before lunch. Cuckoo Pops, ridding your world of bad days. When Marjorie Jackson comes to Helsinki in 1952, no Australian has won gold in the track since Edwin Flack 56 years earlier. The Lithgow Flash changes all that by taking the sprint double, equaling the world record in the 100 metres and setting a new world mark in the 200 metres. This Olympic personal best segment is brought to you by Grosby. They're great, mate. All right, it's down to this. Let's get the, uh, the puzzle of Bizzo out of the road first. Did you get that one? We flashed up before the break. Or was it slipped in my mind? Well, folks, we've been doing this all week, and it's down to this final round to find out who the champion's going to be, and we're going to get straight into it. 2,500 is the big money. Here is the puzzle board. Category, living thing, Sandy in control. Adrian is playing for a car. See how much time we've got left. Well, since the bell goes, the uh, car will be out of play. 510. And for Nicholas? Yes, one. Could I have an... A, please. No A's. Adrian. Oh, it's getting interesting. Sandy has the lead, but it's uh, surrender control to Adrian, who's only 900 bucks behind. All right, five, uh, three, five, ten. S for Spandau Ballet. Yes. Yeah. One S. 
Remember, too, he's playing for the Satry this time. All he's got to do is land on it, pick a letter, and if he solves the puzzle, he'll be driving away in that $29,000 car. Oh, you don't want to lose a turn. going! <laughs> he's, oh, he's starting to get a bit nasty now. <laughs> Don's finger tries yelling at the wheel. All right, Don. Don, you're trailing by a couple of grand, mate. You need a lot of money. Two ninety-five is where we start you. Uh, for Roger. Yeah. There's one out. One thousand eight hundred and fifteen. Three hundred and eighty-five. El Salary? Yes. Two thousand two hundred dollars. You're trailing by sixteen hundred. Few opportunities remain. Oh, this is. Can you feel that tension? Oh no, Don. It's all right. It's all right. This is good. You need this money. Six forty. W for Warren. Yes. Two thousand eight hundred and forty. You're trailing by a grand. You need. You need the big one, mate. It's like. Uh... <laughs> no, that was no, never going to happen. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That. Shocking. Two twenty. If uh, fiance. Yeah. Tell us what it is. Sunflower. It is sunflower. <laughs> this is how we finished up. <laughs> hey, did you enjoy that game, everybody? Did you enjoy that one? It was pretty fantastic. They are all champions, but only can one can win today. Don, 3,060. Adrian, 3,415. Sandy is the winner. Sandy. And Sandy... For taking out the battle of the champions, listen to this, John! She is going to Vienna! <laughs> Congratulations, Sandy! You can indulge oh, yourself and savour the reputable service of Loud Air as you fly to the capital of Austria. Your designer suite is located with an easy access to the cultural and shopping areas of Vienna. It's priced at $10,813 from Hilton Vienna Plaza and Lauda. Hey, well done, Sandy. Thank you. The major prize round it comes to. Oh. Adrian and Don, fantastic. Thanks very much for no both coming back on. You played Thank extremely well. We've got some good consolation <laughs> prizes for you guys, and they look like this. The Swiss-made multifunction watch displays a stylish modern design featuring a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal face on a titanium bracelet. The watch also features a digital display and is water resistant to 100 meters. It's your choice near the ladies or gents timepiece. Compliments of Tissot. Plus you'll also receive the elegant insignia pen set from Parker Pen. Another pen to remember us by. <laughs> we'll see you after the break everybody for the, uh, the championship round. See if Sandy can take off a major prize right after this. This 7 News update is brought to you by Australia's Colonial. Good afternoon. SOCOG is appealing for 500 volunteer navigators to stop Sydney's Olympic buses getting lost. Sydney's Aboriginal Embassy attracts the world's media. Crowds gather as the city's six Olympic live sites switch on. And the IOC congratulates organisers after a successful opening ceremony rehearsal. All the details coming up in the news at 6 o'clock. Westpac's helping us teach our children Olympic ideals, like teamwork and achievement. Westpac's Olympic Youth Program is giving us the tools we need to teach our children ideals that will help them throughout their lives. To present the award, Susie O'Neill. Think Olympic ideals will help our kids achieve in life? I might never be an Olympic athlete, but at least I can think like one. Kids Works has frogs and snakes. Wiggle and jiggle and slither inside. I never get any privacy. Leave my room alone. Privacy problems. Get password journal from Girl Tech. No one can ever see this note. Do you really think it's safe in there? Girl Tech knows girls. I program my own password in my voice. Only my voice can open it. Privacy. Try the password. Girls rule. Access denied. Girls rule. Welcome back. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> Password Journal, and other Girl Tech products. Privacy you control. America's tiny Kerry Strug lines up the crucial final vault at Atlanta. 
In her first fault, Kerry badly tears tendons. She needs 9.5 or better to give the US its first ever women's team gymnastics gold. A nation holds its breath. That's the gold medal for the United States. Seven's personal best. Proudly brought to you by Goodyear. Prepare for trouble. Or make it double. With new dark Pokemon cards in the Team Rocket expansion for the Pokemon trading card game. Scared? You should be. Tonight, the moment is upon us. The flame has reached the heart of Sydney. And today, tonight, we'll be there live with special guest Olivia Newton-John. The greatest thing is the, um, the honour. On Today Tonight. This is the big champion right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sandy Spearings uh, is the Battle of the Champions winner. You did extremely well. You've won the trip to Vienna. Very so lucky. This is like a bonus lucky. now, isn't it? It this, is. This round? Yep. I just... It's one. I can't believe well, it. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got the, the beautiful proton up there. We've put on the wheel six times. Let's okay. hope I can spin it up. So you've got a one in four <laughs> chance of winning this. The sporty Satria GTI delivers an attitude of high performance and style. Featuring ABS brakes and Lotus Ride and Handling, it's from Proton. Spirits of Achievement. Think the car. Think the car. Solve this puzzle too. Have a look at it. It's a phrase. Give the wheel a spin, Sandy. Oh, I got everything crossed for you. Gotta to, got to finish this week off. With a high Olympic start tomorrow, of course, then we're off for a few weeks. But before we do that, well, while you're in Vienna, you can play some swing, some golf. There's the prize. Have a look. Hey, you and Mike could enjoy your best game of golf ever with these Cobra golf sets featuring oversized heads, all clubs are fitted with graphite shafts, with golf bags, matching head covers and buggies. They're priced at $5,050 from Cobra Golf Australia. All right, Sandy, three constants and one vow, then I'll give you 10 seconds. Uh, good luck. What letters would you like? I'll have a T, an N, an S, and an E. Sent. Last word might help you along here. I know your hubby loves the golf, so let's try and win the clubs for him. Good luck. 10 seconds from now. Um, to sense the to oh wash God. out the stars to something out the weed out the s oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well though to reach for uh, the stars. To reach for the stars. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hey, listen, you picked up some great prizes. Dixie oh, has got a nice um. Thank you. Bottle of uh, sparkling for you. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And the flower. She's been a great champion. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now you can say that you were the best Wheel of Fortune player oh, of the, the past champion, four the years. Champion. Yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Enjoy it's your trip to Vienna. I, w I will. I'm really looking forward to it. Fantastic. We need a holiday, so it'll be great. Well done, Sandy. Thank you. And don't forget, folks, we're off until... October 2. October 2. So enjoy the Olympics. Gold, gold, gold. gold, gold. 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 <laughs> we'll see you when we get back into the games. Bye, everyone. Yeah, well done. We choose to fly Qantas, the spirit of Australia. The cast and crew choose to stay at Park Royal and Centra all around Australia. When we move, we move with Adai Pickford, the careful movers. Rob and Sophie shoes by Lindsay Thomas. Rob dressed by Saba. Sophie dressed by Studi Baker. Jewelry from Barks. Hosiery by Kayser. Contestants receive a range of quality Valentine box chocolates. There's only one.